Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Now I am going to solve this uh, particular problem related to the absolute dependent motion. Right, so in this problem it is said that determine the speed of block A if block B has an upward speed of 6 feet per second. Right, so we are given the speed of this block B uh, which is moving upward with 6 feet per second and we are required to determine the velocity of this block A. Right, and the motion of this block A is dependent on this block B since they are connected through this row. Right, so as we have learned in the previous video that to solve such problems first we need to define our reference line from where we will uh, define the position of block A and block B respectively. Right. So, that reference line is known as datum, right? So, we need to select a point which is which will remain stationary, right? So, if we observe this whole uh, mechanism, so we can see that this wall is stationary, right? And we can see that the center of this pulley and the center of this pulley that will remain at rest, right? Or we can say that this pulley and this pulley they will remain at rest, right? And uh, block A, this pulley E and this block B, they will move, right? If block B, if block A will move downwards, then what will happen is that this pulley E will move upward and similarly, uh, this block B will move upward, right? So, now we can define our datum lines and we can say that this is our datum line. Let's say this is my datum line. then we will define our coordinate system right so let's say that the position of block a from this particular line is measured in this direction right this is our positive uh, position of block a right so we can say that this is s a right if if the block will move downward then we will say that it is covering the distance in the positive direction right so this is our positive s a direction similarly for, for block b uh, we will say that this is sb from here to here is sb as we can see that this the length of this rope will remain constant right it will not change and similarly this part of the rope will remain constant right it will not change so the actual position of this block b will be measured from this datum line until the center of this pulley right and as we can see that this pulley and this block B will move uh, with each other, right? So, if block B will move upward, then this pulley E will move upward. So, both of these are uh, tied to, either, to each other, right? So, we can say that the motion of block B will be measured using this SB coordinate, right? And now, as we can see that... Uh, this when this block a will move downward then what will happen is that this rope will move upward and similarly this rope will move downward and this pulley e will move up right so and the change in this this part of the rope the change in this part of the rope and the change in this part of the rope until this point that will remain the same right so now we can write an equation that we have just learned in the previous video so we will write for the total length we will say s a right and this part the length of this part of the rope is not changing right so we will not take them into our equation right since ultimately they will become zero uh, as we will take the derivative of the position of each block right then this length is s b so i will write uh, plus s b then this is constant then we will say this is s b then this is s b right and this is equal to the length of the rope right or we can say that the length of the rope minus the constant length and let's say that the constant length is key right so, S A plus S B plus S B plus S B will be equal to the total length of the rope minus all the constant, these 1, 2, 3, 4. And 
and we can say that the length minus constant this will be another constant right this is another constant let's say that that constant is let's say p right so we can say that this equation will be s a plus 3 s b equal to some constant p so now if i take derivative of this whole equation so this will be d s a divided by d t plus 3 s d s b divided by d t and this will be equal to d p divided by d t so this will give us the velocity of block a this will give us the velocity of block b and this will give us zero since p is constant right now require now we are required to determine the speed of block a so the speed of block a will be equal to minus 3 vb and va and vb is given which is uh, 6 feet so we are given that vb is 6 feet per second and with that it is given that upward right so our positive sense for the direction of block b is downwards right so we are given that block b has an upward speed of 6 feet so then this means that we have to write minus sign according to uh, our defined coordinate system if block b is moving upward then it is the negative sense of the uh, sb position right so we we have to write minus sign with it right so we are given that vb is minus 6 feet per second right so now i have to write minus 3 and vb is minus 6 right so this will give us plus 18 feet per second right this is va so now what does this means that if vb is moving with 6 feet per second in the upward direction then block a will move well, with a velocity of 18 feet per second in the downward direction right so we can write that this is 18 feet per second and it is in the downward direction okay now uh, let's solve this one another problem and that is example from engineering dynamics so again uh, it is said that determine the speed of a cylinder a if b has an upward speed of 6 feet per second right so now uh, we have three pulleys and two ropes right so remember that uh, the number of equations will be equal to the number of ropes right so now again we have to select a fixed point uh, a datum line from which we will measure the location or the position of uh, both the blocks right or uh, the blocks or pulleys from that particular reference line right so now let's say that if we observe this whole mechanism then uh, this particular center of this pulley will remain at rest and uh, this cylinder a this pulley in the center of this pulley and the center of this uh, pulley in d will move right so a is this cylinder b is at edge with this pulley d so they will move together right so we can consider this pulley and block b is uh, one block or one body right since they are attached to each other and this length will remain constant right so we have to define our datum and that, that this can be our datum line like this let me say define that this is our datum line and then we will attach the coordinates right so we will define that if block a moves downward then that is our positive direction of the motion of cylinder a so let's say this is sa and similarly we define the positive motion of block b in the downwards direction as well right so let's say that this is let's say this is s b right from here to here this is s b now as we can see that uh, since we have two ropes and we need to link the motion of cylinder a with cylinder b then we have to define one another coordinates is one another coordinates right we have to attach one another coordinate with this part of the rope right since if this block a will move downward then what will happen is that if if this rope is pulled down then what will happen is that this rope will move up and this will move downward and ultimately this uh, pulley c will move up right 
and when this pulley C will move up then this uh, rope will move up and ultimately this block B will move up right so we need to relate this SA with SB through uh, this rope so we will define one another the coordinate and we will say that the motion of uh, this block C relative to that datum line is let's say defined by this coordinate and let's say that this is SC right and as we can see that this uh, the length of this part of the rope and the length of this part of the rope uh, they will remain the same right so this will be equal to SC and this will be equal to SC so now uh, let's say that this rope is let's say the length of this rope is let's say L1 right so let me write that this is let's say we want to write the equation for rope 1 this one is rope 1 right and this one is rope 2 so now we can write that this is as a uh, plus this as c plus this as c so this will be equal to the length of rope 1 and we can say that this will be as a plus 2 as c equal to l1 and similarly we can write for rope 2 so for rope 2 um, we can say that this is sb and this part of the rope is sb minus sc right this one so this whole uh, length of the rope is sb this is sc so this will be sb minus sc so i will write plus s b minus s c and this is equal to l2 right this is let me write that this is this part of the rope is this is s b minus s c so this is equal to l2 now if i take the derivative of this so this will be d s a divided by dt plus 2 dsc divided by dt and dl1 divided by dt so this will give us velocity of cylinder a plus 2 velocity of cylinder c will be equal to since l1 is constant so this will become 0 similarly this will be sb plus sb minus sc equals to l2 or we can say that this is 2 sb and if we take the derivative then this will be 2 vb minus vc and the derivative of this will become 0 right and now if i write that this will be from this equation we can say that vc is equal to 2 2 vb right and now if i substitute this in let's say this is equation 1 so if i substitute this in this equation then we will have va plus 2 into 2 vb right since we need to relate the motion of uh, the cylinder a with the motion of cylinder uh, b right so this will be equal to 0 or uh, we can say that va equals 2 into 2 4 vb equal to 0 and we are required to determine the speed of cylinder a then the speed of cylinder a will be equal to minus 4 vb and we are given that uh, cylinder B has an upward speed of 6 feet per second right so this means that VB is equal to 6 feet per second and it is upward and we have defined that the, the positive SB is in the downward direction right so this means that if block B is moving in the upward direction that is the negative velocity right then we have to write minus 4 and this is minus 6 so this will give us plus 24 feet per second now what does this mean that if if block a moves with 6 feet per second in the upward direction then block a will move with 24 feet per second in the downward direction the plus signs tell us that block cylinder a will move in the downward direction with 24 feet per second velocity 